Hi, welcome to Food with Lynn. And have you ever been to the uh, Chili's and you heard that sizzling platter coming by and wondered what that was? Well, you probably know it's fajitas. So anyway, that's what I'm going to bring you today on the uh, dawn of Frankenstorm, which is Hurricane Sandy, which might wipe us out tomorrow because we're right all along the shore. But uh, yeah, for today what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some fajitas and we'll get started. Fajitas are really, really simple to make and there's only a few things that you really need and of course some condiments that you can use with them. Now typically you would want to try and see if you could find uh, skirt steak. Uh, skirt steak is really cheap. Where I was getting my uh, meat at today I couldn't find any skirt steak so I just, I'm, I'm using chuck shoulder steak. Uh, same difference, you're just going to cut it up into slices after we cook it. Uh, I've got a sweet onion here. Typically these would be uh, what you would call Vidalia onions because of the flatness. However, Vidalia onions are only Vidalia onions if they're grown in Vidalia region of Georgia in the United States. So uh, any sweet onion will do. If you get Vidalias, that's fine, whatever. These uh, are frozen. They came from my mom's garden. They were the smaller of the green and red bell peppers that she grows in her garden. You can see that they're still frozen. They've got a little bit of frost on them and I'm going to go ahead and thaw those out for just a couple of seconds in the microwave so that they're the same temperature as the onion. So at this point all I'm going to do, and I've already taken the root off and I figured I'd go ahead and show you this. Now this is different than slicing an onion using the method that I used in one of my earlier videos. Basically all you want to do on this is you just want to go ahead and cut both the top and the bottom off because we're going to want this in strips as best as we can get it. So we'll just go ahead and uh, let me just go ahead and peel that whole entire outer layer off. I don't want to get rid of that much of it but that's just the way it's coming apart. So we'll just do that like so. And then as far as our strips go, and just uh, not sure how much of that I'm going to need, so I'm just going to start out with half of it. And then you just strip it out like so. Uh, instead of cutting it for a dice, you just uh, cut it in such a way that it's going to produce strips for you, like so. And then we'll just, uh, from there, we'll go ahead and heat up a pan, a regular frying pan. And the trick about fajitas, if you wanted to, and I'm not going to do this, but if you wanted to, you could take, uh, I've got a bird flying through here, <laughs> sorry. Uh, if you wanted to, you could take this and put it in a cast iron pan that you've heated up really, really hot so that you'll get that sizzling sound as it goes to the table. Well, let me get all this together and going, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my onions sliced up. I've got all my pans ready, and I've just oiled my pans. But something I forgot to mention is the fajita seasoning. Now, you can go and find something on the Internet that does all of that. But, hey, for $6, it's already done for me. I just go ahead and get a just a package of ready-made fajita seasoning, and it'll last you forever. So uh, that's what I've gone ahead and done with that. Now there's two ways you can deal with the meat. You can go ahead and uh, cook it first and then slice it. You can grill it. That's a good way to go. Uh, I don't have that going on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up my burners for what I've got going. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just go ahead and pre-slice this uh, because I don't really need to see a whole lot of red centers and stuff like that, even though, you know, that's probably pretty. Uh, let me talk about condiments while I'm cutting this up. You can serve this with just about anything uh, Mexican. And uh, what they generally bring out is they'll bring out some guacamole, some sour cream, and I'm going to make some uh, guacamole, which I'm actually going to make for a different video. But uh, I'm going to just serve this up with sour cream, guacamole, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't really care for the lettuce that goes on there. Uh, also, diced tomato is a good thing. We probably do some diced tomato. But uh, this video here is just going to show you the main component. 
what you put together, how you put it together, and how it's similar to what you would find at, say, Chili's or any place that serves fajitas. So it's really simple. You just cut your meat. Uh, if there's a grain that you can find, you cut against the grain so that uh, all of your pieces are just have very, very short uh, grain structure in them. Cut this open here. And this has a little freaky end piece here. I don't really like what's going on with that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And while my pan's heating, I'll go ahead and finish cutting this up. And I've just oiled all three pans. I'm just going to do this separately. Uh, if you don't want to make a good presentation or pretty whatever, you could do it in as little as one pan. Probably two. I don't know that I would go as short as one. But I'm just going to put my onions and peppers in a separate pan. Remember, cut these pretty thin uh, or a little thicker, depending upon how rare you want them in the middle. And then once you get them in the pan, once the pan gets hot, then we're going to want to put a little fajita seasoning on all of it. And uh, if you want to make a really, really good sizzling presentation, uh, I would just get a cast iron pan if you have one and just get that super hot and then get all of this pretty close but not quite all the way there. So anyway, my pans are getting hot. I can see that just by the way everything's working here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to shut those two off because I've got enough carryover heat on that. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in. Get my onions going too. So on the vegetables, you just want to pretty much soften those up. What your, uh, you know, do whatever you like on your onions. Just get that going there. Now my meat is starting to get going a little bit. I probably need a spatula for that because it's going to stick. So yeah, now that I've got all of my burners going at once, kind of overdid it on that, but. Uh, yeah, we'll get it together. So, now with the meat in there, I'm going to go ahead and give it, a, the meat is the part you want to give the really good fajita seasoning to. I'm just going to season the crap out of that. But I'm going to leave the rest of it alone. The vegetables. And so we'll give it a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back with you. All right, at this, at this point in time, everything's looking about like I want it. Uh, all my vegetables and everything are looking good. Give that a quick stir. And rather than heat up a direct skillet for that, I'm just going to put everything all together in one pan. This one right here. It's got my caramelized onions. Might be just a little over caramelized. And I'm going to put that over into one side, like so. And this is home style. I mean, uh, you like fajitas and you like them at home. This is what you pretty much need to throw together, just like this. And you have your tortillas already at the table. And I'm using wheat tortillas. The corn types tend to fall apart. And then you just wrap it in a tortilla. That one guy looks a little red on that one side. Give him a quick flip. Let that guy stay for a minute. Get over there. Okay. And you still have the sizzle. You can just bring it to the table just like that. And you're good to go. And there you have it. Homemade fajitas. And all you do is you just break out your wheat uh, for flour tortillas. And you just wrap this up in your flour tortillas. Add sour cream if you want to. Add whatever. And you're good to go. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe, rate, comment, and we'll see you in another video. Okay, let me throw one of these together real quick. I've just 
put a dollop of sour cream on there. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of meat, like so. That's a little more than a little bit. Oh well, we'll go with it. Take some onions, like so. Take some peppers on top, like so. And you just wrap it up and enjoy the messy, juicy, drippy gooiness that is this. And like I said, if you wanted other condiments, you could add that to that. But there is your chilies fajita. Enjoy!